Jackson was kind of an odd game where you know you piled up the shots early and you scored once. Then it was a really close game, but the score twice at the end mm -hmm. to make it you know, six three. Yeah, I thought we had a really good start, honestly, and I don't know, 20, 25 shots in the first period, some good looks, but um, you know, we come out of there down one, and um, I just think little, little small details in our game just kind of, um, you know, we lacked at times, and they got, you know, really speedy guys, skilled forwards uh, that can make plays, and, um, you know, the mistakes that we did make, they, they obviously cap plays on them, and then I thought in the second, you know, it's been probably the best period for us, uh, you know, this year, and I didn't think we really could get too much going on when we did. We just get right back. So um, I think just, you know, a little bit of an immature game from us tonight at times, and, um, you know, I just have to have that killer instinct a little bit more, especially uh, when you have a good first period like that. Um, you want to come out and, and stay on the hunt there, and then the second, I thought we kind of took a step back instead of a step forward. Is that a little bit concerning at this point of the year? Is that just one of those great ways to ride at this point of the year? Well, I mean, I don't think that's, uh, you know, stuff you want to see in the game at this point of the year, obviously, especially with 10 games left. Um, you know, I think that stuff just can't happen, and I mean, that's on, it's on us, it's on the players, and, um, you know, we just can't let that happen. We've got to be focused for, for 60 minutes despite uh, the circumstances, despite, you know, who we're playing, who we're up against, um, or how the game's going. We've got to make sure that uh, we're dialed in, you know, the full 60 minutes. How much are injuries playing a factor? We've had a few guys tonight. I mean, we've had, you know, injuries all year. Everybody goes through it, and we've had guys step in and, and you know, play bigger roles for us and play well, and, um, you know, when you got key guys out, you just kind of expect that, uh, you know, that same kind of intensity coming from guys that are getting more opportunity. So, um, you know, I thought some guys did well. It's just those little mistakes, little key plays. Um, you know, I thought the second really just took them out of our sales. Um, you know, just not a good period for us. Uh, like I said, it's been one of our strengths, uh, you know, throughout the year. And, um, you know, especially with the moment that we gave the first, I thought we should have had a better season. What was your sense of the power play? Obviously, it could be tough when there's two separated by intermission, but what, what did you make of the power play tonight? Uh, just not enough urgency, I don't think, and not enough, uh, you know, pucks getting to the net. Um, yeah, I mean, I think when the, when it's kind of going that way, it's, you know, better off simplifying stuff and um, than overcomplicating, and I think uh, we're still kind of uh, maybe trying to do too much and, you know, simplifying and, just getting pucks in and trying to break them down with their pressure through through that process instead of uh, trying to make uh, you know play after play. What did you think of uh, Wolves' effort? I mean, not a lot of shots that you guys gave up, but it seemed to be a lot of high danger chances. On them. Pretty much sums it up, I'd say. Yeah, I mean, he's played really good, well for us, and since he's been back, he's played really well. And you know, um, yeah, I mean, he made the saves he was supposed to make, and then the ones that you know break down in coverage and. Um, you know, that's the time. Joseph, so. what do you mean with uh, this one tonight? Um, you know, I thought our team looked really good. I thought we dominated a lot of a lot of the game, and we had a lot of a lot of chances in ozone. And um, you know, it comes down to a couple shots. And um, from my standpoint, I'd like to make you know, I thought there were a couple moments in the game where we could have used the save. So um, I think that's what I take away from it. The uh, first one, Luke's shot, like, was the knuckle puck? Like, what did you see there? Yep. Yeah, it was just a bit of a sinker or whatever. Is yeah. there anything you can do on, on that? Like, I mean, or you just kind of have to brush it off? Yeah, just kind of brush it off. What's the first period, like, uh, Joe, and you pull it there and you can save after save after save, and you're sort of just watching it happen? What what's, it like? what's it like Yeah, well, what was it like watching? You know, he's got 25 shots, you've got mm. seven, I guess. So. Um, yeah, I and mean, it's exactly what you said. Uh, just trying to stay stay focused, and, and when it's my turn, do my job. It's back to back games now, where the first shot goes in. Got to be mentally tough, I guess. How do you re reset when that happens? Yeah, um, just next save mentality, and uh, you know it's an unfortunate start the last couple of games, but um, try to shake it off, like we talked about, and um, just focus on the next one. Well, you guys had such a strong first period. That kind of thing. I mean, I think just sloppy, letting it get a little free flowing, and I mean, not playing hard enough. How do you explain it at this time of year when you should be dialing in your game? The sloppy. Yeah, you know what? It is. Uh, it is rattling. I think that we know we're capable, capable of uh, a lot better than this 
locker room, so I mean, we still have some time to dial it up. I think we've been playing great as of late. So we came in and played against a little bit of a looser team, so um, can't happen again. I mean, we have them two more times, so that's where we got to be uh, ready to go. Uh, I know you'd rather have the win than the goal. Congratulations on your 40th goal. How does it feel to be scoring at such a high rate in the last couple of years? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I play with great players, so I, I just get the puck in good spots and be able to put them in, so, um, yeah. Um, but, I mean, obviously the one's more important than the, than the 40 goals. Well, then what's the importance, how would you describe the importance of these games down the stretch in terms of revving up? Why Why is it so crucial for you guys? Yeah, I, I mean, you got to dial up the game for the playoffs, I think. For example, we talked a bit about our PK, and I think we did a really good job on our PK today. Um, so, I mean, some aspects we just got to tighten up and, and get a lot better power play. Um, got to dial that up, too. Are Rangers a factor? I'm missing a few guys tonight. Sorry? Are injuries a factor? Yeah, of course. I mean, we have we have unbelievable players not playing, but I still think that uh, we should be capable with the players that we have to have a have a good power play. So, um, yeah, we just got to get back to the drawing board and I think simplify our game. How do you guys have such a great first period? How did that game get away from you guys? Yeah, I think we just started trying to do too much. Um, that's kind of the game they want to trap you into, playing run and gun and. Um, we should have been getting pucks deep and, and working them down low, and I think we got away from that. Um, and then once they're up, it's tough to come back because the game opens up. So that's what happened. Is that a concern? Have you had a, a, a role of the game at this point in the season when you should be going for the players? I don't know if it's necessarily a concern, but uh, a learning block for sure. I think we want to just continue to improve. And, um, you know, if, if we let it happen again, yeah, it's a problem, but we got to grow from it. And uh, I think the biggest thing is just continuing to get things right as we go into the playoffs. You can't really go back in the past and change things. You just have to build on it. One part of your game, you look really comfortable carrying. You look like you really want it. Can you talk about the offense level and the athlete? Yeah, I think it's just been growing from making a simple play. Um, things open up after that, and um, I was moving my feet tonight, and that really opened things up for me and helped me out. What did you see on Willie's goal? He, he credited you for making a nice play to kind of get him going. Yeah, he just built a ton of speed, and I saw him out of the corner of my eye. And obviously, we have top tier talent, so you want to get them the puck when they have speed like that. And he did a great job finishing. John, you guys had such a strong first period. Where did that sort of go off the rails for you? Well, I thought I thought that you know instead of having a strong period and, and building on it and continuing to do the things that we had done well, I thought we. I thought we just overdid it. It was just really immature, really immature all the way through our game. I thought it was immature from our most experienced players and our leaders. And then our players who are immature, our inexperienced guys. I mean, we made lots of mistakes here today. First period, Bobby McMahon gives up a two-on-one, on, doesn't do his job there. And um, Holmberg and get caught on one goal. Our fourth line, Camper out there, like a third and fourth line, give up goals in the second period. So top and bottom in the, in the second period, just, you know, not good enough. And you're playing against a team that's among the most dangerous teams in the NHL offensively. And they want to play the game like that in terms of countering and getting behind you. Jack Hughes gets two breakaways. You're not winning the game if that's going to be the case. So um, hated, hated lots about our game tonight. And uh, hopefully the players hated just as much or more than I do. Is that a one-off? Given has it happened a lot with your group, Sheldon? Obviously, but look at it as a one-off or. A well, it has versus... happened a lot for our group over the years, okay. Okay, and I'm talking about the experienced people, and that came back tonight. Okay. And I thought the game invited it. Right, it's 25 shots. If everybody's feeling great, you got lots of puck touches. You think it's going to happen again, and you're going to stay with it. I don't know if anybody's ever got 75 shots in a game before, but I don't think it happens. Usually, things adjust, and the opposition you know pushes back. Um, the game kind of tidies up a little bit, and, but I just thought we got incredibly sloppy and careless, and that's, that's uh, disappointing. But to your point, that hasn't been us. We haven't played that way for quite some time. So I thought our guys got a little too excited, a little too carried away, and, uh, and we'll tighten that back up real quick. We can't let in the first shot of the game, but, you know, that's two in a row now. But... Um, uh, the chances we gave up tonight are egregious. There's lots of issues in front of them.
It sounds awesome. like some of your veteran your veteran guys, Matthews, Nylander, they're also very upset with how this got away. What are you looking for from your leadership? They gotta be they gotta be the example. John Tavares has been the example for us. He's been outstanding for us for a long period of time. He himself got carried away tonight. That's our captain. So if that's gonna happen, well, like then I the rest of our benches now we're just making it up as we go. When you do that, you open the door for the opposition to have a good night. Um, and they did that and I thought you know, the last goal at the end of the third period there, that's indicative of our second and third periods.